Okay, in this video I want to talk about what's called the Poisson distribution. And what this is, it models a situation um, that adheres to the following. It says, suppose we can expect some independent event to occur lambda times over some specified time interval. It says then the probability of getting exactly x occurrences is going to be equal to Okay, so it's a function of both x and lambda, and the formula says we take lambda, raise it to the x power, multiply that by e raised to the negative lambda, and divide that by x factorial. Okay, so in this problem, um, suppose we have a fast food restaurant, and they can expect two customers every three minutes on average. Um, and we want to know the probability that four or fewer patrons enter the restaurant in a nine minute period. Okay, so um, to me, this probability should certainly be a little lower because I would expect, I mean, if you're getting two customers every three minutes, if you get two customers every three minutes, then we can expect, I suppose, six customers in nine minutes. And we're, again, trying to figure out um, the probability that we get four or fewer. And this value, six, we can expect six customers in nine minutes. This is going to be our value for lambda. Okay. So we can expect lambda occurrences over our time period, so over our nine minute time period we would expect six occurrences. Okay, if we want to figure out the probability that four or fewer patrons enter the restaurant, we're going to have to figure out the probability that exactly um, zero people um, come into the restaurant plus the probability that exactly um, one person comes into the restaurant plus the probability that you get exactly two plus the probability of getting exactly three plus the probability of getting exactly four. That would be the probability that you get, well, four or fewer patrons. So now all we have to really do is simply use our formula, and I labeled it as F before, so it says, um, so let me maybe switch my notation around just a little bit, so the probability of X occurrences um, over this time span of lambda, we said that this is going to equal lambda to the X, Ugh. we're going to get lambda raised to the X power, E to the negative lambda, and we'll have to divide that by x factorial. Okay, so the probability of us getting exactly zero, so the probability of getting zero um, plus the probability of getting one plus the probability of getting two plus the probability of getting three plus the probability of getting four people exactly walking into the restaurant. We'll have to compute each of these individually and then we'll have our um, have our value. So again, I, I, I the original notation I used was an F. I'm going to label it as a P, so it does stand for probability. Maybe it's a little more descriptive um, in, in that way. So basically just filling things in, it says if we fill in our formula, again, lambda has value six x will be 0, we would get e to the negative 6, and divide that by 0 factorial. And then if we fill in the rest of them, we'll get 6 to the first, e to the negative 6 over 1 factorial, plus 6 to the second. So here's where it gets obviously uh, pretty tedious. Um, and this is types of things that most probability books We'll have a table that you can just kind of read off things. I'm doing it for sure kind of the long way just to compute it, um, just to write it all out. But most good textbooks will have, you know, this kind of in a more compact form for you to use. So you can check my arithmetic. I got that this first value was roughly equal to 0 0.0025. I got that the second one was equal to roughly 0 0.0149. This next value to be uh, 0 0.0446. Um, 6 to the third, e to the negative 6 over 3 factorial. I got that to be roughly 0 0.0892. 
and the last value I got was roughly 0 0.11, excuse me, 1339. And if you add this up, this is going to be equal to, where'd my computation go? 0.2851, which is roughly equal to 0.285 or 28.5%. Okay, so it says the probability, if we can expect two customers every three minutes, the probability of four or fewer customers over a nine minute span. Again, intuitively, it should be a little bit lower than, uh, certainly beneath 50%. Um, it says it should be 28.5%. So, all right, I hope this example makes some sense. If you have any questions or comments, as always, um, feel free to post them. Hopefully me or someone else can point you in the right direction.